about Crypto Sprint. Uh, it's one of my things before, I'm Quentin Juel. I'm a graphic designer that I use the free software and uh, act and create my own tools to make graphic design. Uh, before beginning to present what is Crypto Sprint, I will contextualize how it, where it comes from. Um, we, since, uh, since years, I, we see graphic designers using in plus software and also making their own and act software to, to experiment new shapes and uh, have a new way to, to, to work. And um, when I talk about that, uh, it's OSP, Open Source Publishing, that are already know here. Uh, are very inspiring by the using of free software and they don't use normally uncommon uh, software to create graphic design, to create good, like these programs for the balsamine. Um, we see enthusiasm for, from students from school, like this diploma from Wizdul, she experiment uh, HTML and CSS to print to see different formats she can output from a website. And uh, also there is some more experimental stuff like uh, this one. It's, like, uh, it's called the Pagey Machine by Sarah Garcin. It's an arcade machine where you can, where you can lay out um, uh, with, uh, sorry, <laughs> with button and act on typeface, uh, glitch images and it's really, it's like a gamification of uh, making books. Um, also, there is um, a, lot, a workshop from, I don't remember the creation, but maybe there is six workshops, five workshops about, um, the, it, it, sorry, it's uh, Outils Libre Alternatif, made by Raphael Bastide, Sarah Garcia, and Bashir Soussi Um They are making workshops, they invite one artist or designer using a specific tools and making three days, like a weekend, to um, create something. And uh, it's, uh, they use the pure, pure data, um, Blender, Scribus, uh, but in, not in the common way, like uh, making books with pure data and stuff like that. And um, in, the, in the same time, Raphael and Louise begin to um, list uh, projects made with, um, with uh, CSS prints and uh, gener for generative layout and alternative publishing tools. And in 2017, <laughs> yes, Sarah Garcin and Raphael Bastide uh, formed Purpose Print and uh, it's a Richard group focusing on alternative and free publishing systems. And uh, it's not a um, really defined group. We are a lot of graphic design uh, collective and people that are interested in that. We, we are um, friends also and uh, we, we're beginning to Yes, we we group to talk about and questioning this stuff. <laughs> we've got a, since um, two years we've got a plenty action like uh, workshops. Um, this one is the first one of Purpose Print. It was a workshop with um, the collective of graphic designer Luz, also Sarah Garcin and Raphael Bastide, and they uh, uh, work with their students at Parsons School with uh, their tools they create and uh, they teach to the, and uh, they teach to the student. Um, for the example, uh, uh, Luz use uh, the, the tool like called pad to print they act pad to uh, layout book collabor collaboratively. And uh, there is another workshop uh, uh, this last year about uh, page media uh, and page yes. It's a tool uh, Julie make a workshop uh, this afternoon. And uh, it's also, there are a number of Crepo Sprint also. It's a kind of, we can do with uh, this tool. It's, uh, you, you use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to uh, export PDF on my books. We've got um, many meetings during this event, like we regroup together and uh, think about what we can do for future events or maybe what we can uh, add out in our documentation. I will talk about the wiki we have uh, later. And uh, every event we, we got together, you can see the 
the group uh, move every time it's difficult to identify who participating to propose pretty freely, but it's kind of free stuff. <laughs> um, we make communication like we've got um, a fair at Gettelieric uh, in Paris, uh, like uh, there is uh, some conferences and also uh, some stand when people ca can see the, the works and discuss with the designer more individually. Um, there is another one in um, NSAD, it's an uh, art school in Paris and it's, uh, uh, it was made by uh, Lucille Haute, Julie Blanc and me and we invite the other member of Purpose Print to talk to the NSAD students like what we can do with other software than InDesign or Adobe <laughs> software. Um, we have a, we want to diffuse and promote uh, this uh, kind of graphic design process, and uh, we we got this wiki where you can uh, see uh, the events we that we have already made. Made. Maybe it's better in English. <laughs> Is it correct? There is no T at the post. Oh no! It's uh, no, it's an error. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> and uh, you, you, you can see also research and showcase. Showcase uh, shows some projects that made with this kind of computed layer. And um, also there is a resource with um, tools and uh, other the websites that uh, promote this uh, kind of graphic design work to do. And we've got, uh, we've made a, a journal and uh, it's uh, completely made uh, by HTML and CSS and JavaScript. And uh, in the journal, there is um, some um, presentation of the member of the groups and some article about uh, free typeface type design. Uh, uh, also, like um, how we can rethink the um, process, the workflow of editing books uh, with uh, the, the free software and also web standard language. Um, our goal was to build a community and uh, have a pedagogic action for inspired graphic design students and teacher and researcher and uh, promote an experimental creation system. Uh, maybe I had some trouble with the vocabulary, <laughs> but sorry. But it's more about like um, what we can do without the natural, the conventional uh, tools uh, in graphic design. But uh, we identify with uh, Rafael some problems because we, we, we are a lot, we have a lot of work uh, separately and we are we making that with as benevolent and uh, the, the wiki is quite empty for the moment because everybody is really occupied and, uh, and we want to, to, to make simpa, simple, simple the, the way you release to the project and stuff like that. We, we write a manifesto uh, about purpose print in case it's really new. <laughs> and uh, it's purpose print promotes graphic object and resources in line with the following characteristics. The object is crafted with, uh, within an experimental process with alternative act or DIY tools made in a certain context, constrained by its economy, its emergency or collaborative nature. The tool used to make the object and, if it's possible, the content of the object itself are published under a free software license. The object is documented on the website purposeprint.org <laughs> that is an entry to in the database and there is a, a mock-up <laughs> for maybe the next website. It will be more simple. We will uh, have uh, all of them with um, we, we created uh, creating a project and uh, there is a here you can there will be have uh, like a five uh, ten, like five project we really like for the month and it change every month and every month we will try to put uh, projects and in other part you you can have uh, like um, you can submit projects there is a little formula with uh, uh, tags and uh, you can add uh, your project or maybe something you find and participate to the database. And 
Um, I've got some goodies from Purpose Print if you want, some t-shirts, stickers, and also I've got the journal if you want to take a look and over it. Thanks, and you can find uh, more information here and on Twitter, and we've got a mailing list where we, you can ask us to members if you have uh, some, like, asking for workshop or maybe some information about that. Okay, <laughs> that's all. <laughs>